I know my hair's a mess, but I'm cutting my hair. So why would I even bother making it look all nice when I'm gonna do that right now in this video? I think I've found something probably groundbreaking. We'll see, we have to see. This is a $70 kit from Limeril. Limeril? Limeril? Limeril. Take a good look at it. Real nice, comes with two clippers, both cordless. One trimmer, one normal clipper. So there's a lot of stuff in this one little $70 kit. And I'm gonna tell you today if it's worth it. I've been using Andy's clippers for like a year and a half now. Andy's is like the top of the line. Like I have the Fade Masters. This is what I've been working with for like a year and a half. This is top of the line stuff. So if these things can even compete, then I'll be very happy. A cordless Andy's clipper like that is $200 and you get two cordless clippers for 70 in this box. So if they're, if they're up to par with that or even close, this is crazy, this is groundbreaking. Just saying that before we even start. As you can see, my hair is definitely not in the best shape right now. I need a haircut for a while. I just woke up, it's all messy. So let's get right into it. Let's, let's stop all the dilly-dally. The first thing that comes in this kit is this cape. We're gonna put the cape on. I think it's a cape, pretty sure it's a cape. Why do they have to mow the lawn now? Why do they have to? Oh my God. First things first, I'm gonna put my Bro, can you stop? Shush! Shut up! <sighs> okay, it's quiet now. Now I can focus. Now I can look at myself. First things first, I'm gonna put my hair up in this thing. I don't know how to do this, but like, I'm gonna try. That works. Then we gotta brush out the sides like this. Let's just get a, let me give, let me give you a close up on these beautiful clippers here. Obviously a very nice, let me see, get out of my face. Very nice metallic finish on these. They're very heavy, not heavy like uncomfortable, but they're heavy like they got a nice weight to them. Metal all the way around, the cordless comes with a charger down here. And then you got this little LCD screen that when you turn it on, it tells you how much power you have left. So these are fully charged at 100. But look at these things, these things, are gorgeous they're beautiful already very close competition with the the andish clippers because these are very they're both about the same weight they feel like the same metal like they're nice they're both just good so far we don't really care about how they look we want to see how they perform correct correct all right so first i'm gonna strap on a four and we're gonna go like around the top up here just to kind of knock the bulk off so this is the first time I've ever used these clippers, so let, let's see a live reaction of how I feel about them. Very comfortable in the hand. They cut pretty well. Like, they, a bunch of hair came off, obviously. They cut pretty slick. They're not super, like, vibrate -y, I guess. Like, when you use the Andis, like, it's like, this is, it's like shaking in your hand. So, so far, these are good. I like these a lot already. Let's keep going. As you can see after one pass, focus, we're now at 99% battery. So that was about what, two, three minutes. So this is probably gonna last you like an hour or so. Good couple haircuts. You won't have to worry about charging them too much. Now we're gonna put a three on and work our way down from there. Is this the right method? I have no idea, zero clue. But it works for me. It's worked for me in the past, it's gonna work for me today. So as you can see there, I made my guideline, little guideline, cut really short. It's nice. These are very like, I didn't zero these or anything. They're just like straight out the box and they really like cut, they cut close. Now we're going to open the lever a little bit. The lever is good. It's like, it's tough to move, which is good because you don't want it like slipping all over the place. So right now this is like, this is literally a $200 clipper in my eyes. So. We have run into our first issue, however. They do not include a zero guard in their in their kit. And this is the lowest clipper that they give you. So I don't know what I'm gonna do to fade that. That's gonna be tough. I'm gonna take this off to do the back, I can't see it. Oh. 
Okay, the other, so, as you can see, there's a pretty defined line right there. And the problem is, that's a that's an open one right here. This is an open one. So with a closed, a closed two should be knocking that line down. And as you can see, it's still a pretty harsh line. So these clippers are definitely good clippers, but the guard system is not so great. Definitely not even close to like an Andis or an Oster or a wall clipper system because these are just, I mean guard system. These are just not like the one doesn't go into the two very well. There's no zero. I need is you need a zero if you're gonna do like bald fades. All right, another thing about this kit is it comes with this. It comes with this little uh, T outliner, and I've been using the Andis T outliner for a while, but um, these look pretty cool. They look, they look like look at the job done. So maybe these will be the saving grace of this kit, I guess. Okay, so definitely my favorite part of the kit is these trimmers. These are good trimmers. These are right on par with the Andis T outliners, which are expensive, they're cordless, they're not great. This is a nice, it's tiny, fits in your hand nice, and it's also cordless. So if you were to get one of these somewhere else, it would be like $200, but this comes as part of a $70 kit. So you do the math on that, like, what's that? 30 something dollars, right? 35, $36 for one of these, which is really good. This is a good, this is a good trimmer. Definitely a good trimmer. Definitely the best part of the kit. How about that line though? How am I gonna get rid of that line? Oh boy. All right, so now I'm just focusing on kind of blending that line a little better, the best I can, because this this is not working out with that, with, with this little guard system they got going on. All right, now let me just shower up and then I'll give you guys the final results. And I, the, the final, the conclusion, call it conclusion. Okay, so I'm gonna give this whole case a six out of 10 because I love the trimmers. The trimmers are great. I have nothing really bad to say about them, but the clippers, clippers are meh. These are the clippers that I was using as I showed you before. So let me give you the pros and cons on them. The pros, they are light, they are high quality, and they have that little screen. I like the screen. They're cordless and they do cut well the only con which is a pretty big con it sucks is the clipper guards like i told you before the clipper guard system is just not up to par with other brands like andis and oster and wall other brands like that have a one and a half in between the one and the two uh they have zeros one sixteenths this clipper set just comes one through six i believe yes it comes one through six and the one doesn't really fade into the two. There's no zero to fade from the blade into the one. Uh, so you do kind of end up with some harsh lines if you don't know what you're doing. I had to spend a lot of extra time on these just to make them look good. So if you're looking for something professional to do really nice fades with, this probably isn't your best option. But if you're looking for a cheap clipper that is high quality, because these definitely are high quality clippers, uh, and you're just looking to do something like your own, your own hair at home, uh, your husband, your kids, whatever you want to do. If you're not doing any crazy fades like this, this is going to be perfect for you. They are great clippers. They work really well. The only thing that I want them to fix is their guard system. They either need to redo it completely, add a one and a half, and they definitely need a zero. That is my only issue with this whole kit. The trimmers, perfect. These little trimmers right here, these things are perfect. I love these things. It did a perfect job on the back and whatnot. So that was really nice. It came with a lot of stuff. This is a really good bang for your buck overall. Is it on par with the Andis Fade Master or the Oster Fast Feeds? Uh, no, I wouldn't say so because simply because of the clipper guards and it's not as powerful, but it is up to par because it's a quarter of the price. If you wanted to get two cordless clippers like that, it would be 330 to like $400. And you're looking at $70 for this whole kit, which is a really, really, really good deal. So all in all, I give it a six out of 10. They need to fix their clipper guard system. The actual clippers themselves and the trimmers are great. Those are, I can't say anything bad about them. I have no issues with them whatsoever. But as soon as they fix those clipper guards, it's wraps for the rest of these brands.